As the day went on, men on both sides threw more lambs into the slaughter. The perfection in killing by this point of the war was ghastly to behold. It was systematic. Every shot seemed to hit its intended target. The defending Yankees lying behind brows of hills or behind crude works would have the advantage on this field. Iron Brigade, those fine Westerners with their tall army hats, came into the field and captured Rebel General Archer. It was with a cost, however. The men lost their beloved General Reynolds, who was shot from his horse, while almost upon Archer's Brigade of Johnnies. The first encounter that morning was as a clash of strapping pugilists, feeling the strength of punch of the other. Our regiment had even gained ground and were about to turn their position, but the Yankees had different ideas and soon had our men trapped and on the run. One regiment, the 26th North Carolina, led by a 21-year-old wildcat, Colonel Burguin, led his 800 men as if on parade into the vaulted Black Hat Brigade of Westerners. After fighting at 30 yards, almost 600 of his men were killed or wounded, and the colonel himself mortally stricken.
General A.P. Hill's 3rd Corps and General Dick Ewell's 2nd were almost entirely on the field together. And by late in the day, pressed forward. The artillery support was deafening, with musketry so loud that I had to shout in each of the men's ears to give commands. We pressed forward, despite the heaps of casualties. Some of the Iron Brigade, plus the red-legged devils of Brooklyn, captured a railroad cut full of Johnnies. The casualties were heavy, but the first shouts of victory belonged to those of us in blue. It seemed that time stood still. Many of the men, remembering the ugly stain of Chancellorsville, committed reckless acts of bravado, much like a rooster stepping up to a bear. One man, a Pennsylvania sergeant named Crippen, one of the bucktails, stepped out from his regiment and on his own, and with the Johnnies in his face, told them where to go. Crippen's act rallied his men to fight on, but he would join the long list of dead. 